testosterone. This is the most important hormone for every man. This is the hormone that makes you feel great or it can also make you feel like shit if you do not optimize it. If you know how to use testosterone, it's a powerful weapon that can make you a beast. It will, it will maximize a lot of different areas of your life. And if you don't maximize testosterone, it can also hurt you because this is like our, our superpower. As men, testosterone is what drives us to become better for healthy competition and to accomplish our goals. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about testosterone, how to maximize it, a couple strategies and techniques that will help you also take that testosterone to another level. So let's jump into it. Testosterone is a crucial hormone that plays various roles in men's health. It affects everything from your muscle mass, your mood, your libido, your strength, and even your energy levels. As men, as we age, our testosterone levels start to slowly decrease. So this is something that we just need to keep in mind and we always have to be maximizing it and harnessing the power of having testosterone. So why is testosterone important? So like I mentioned, it affects a lot of various roles in the body of a man, also for women, but in this video we're focusing specifically on men. For men, it affects your strength levels, it affects your energy levels, it affects everything. The first reason why it's important is because if you increase your testosterone levels, it will increase your muscle mass. If you have higher levels of testosterone, with that muscle mass, it will increase your strength and it will increase your athletic performance and it will also increase your endurance in the gym. The second reason is improved sexual function. As men, we always wanna perform and please our girl in the bedroom. So just having high levels of testosterone will help you do that. This is probably the best way to start if you're having problems in the bedroom to, to begin increasing your testosterone. And we're gonna be covering how to do that further along in this video. If you have higher levels of testosterone, it's going to increase your confidence, it's going to reduce your anxiety, and even if you have some depression, it will decrease that and you will feel more comfortable with yourself, more relaxed and more confident when you're ready to perform in that bedroom. The third reason is it will improve your mood and your confidence. There's been countless of studies that have shown that if you have higher testosterone levels, you just feel more relaxed, more confident in yourself, and it decreases that anxiety or that, that anxiousness that you get by not having that confidence and that groundedness from having more testosterone. Fourth reason is improved bone health. Higher testosterone levels can reduce your chances of getting osteoporosis and other bone health related issues. So having higher testosterone levels will also increase that bone health. The fifth is improved cognitive function, including memory focus and overall brain health. Now that we talked about why testosterone is important, let's talk about the biggest threats that affect our testosterone and just traps that we should try to avoid when it comes to maximizing our testosterone and always keeping it at high levels. All right, the first one is age. This one, we can't really do anything about it. It just begins to decrease naturally but since we're aware of it we can always implement techniques that will help us keep it at high levels even as we age next trap to avoid is obesity so you have to always be conscious of your weight and not letting yourself get out of shape or getting too fat because that extra body fat will decrease your testosterone if you have more body fat you have higher estrogen levels and that decreases your testosterone so this is where you need to avoid eating or overeating, eating at a calorie surplus. Watch out for those beers because that beer has a lot of estrogen. It has a lot of carbs that convert into fat. So that's one of the biggest traps as men that you have to avoid. The third trap is lack of sleep. So I always say that you have to protect your sleep when you wake up in the morning and then when you go to sleep at night, you always wanna have a, a good sleep schedule where you're waking up at a certain time and then you're trying to go back to sleep at a certain time. And I would try to avoid naps because naps can ruin that sits that your, your sleep schedule as well. So that quality of sleep is crucial for your testosterone growth. So just protect your sleep. Make sure that you're getting at least seven to eight hours of sleep every night. And try not to take too many naps in between that. Try to be go deep into your sleep. For me, what I like to do is I like to train hard. I like to go train uh, MMA. And I usually get some pretty good sleep. I try to wake up early. I cut coffee off before noon, that always helps for me. So it's very important, make sure that you're protecting that sleep and you're getting 
good quality rest. The next trap is a poor diet. So this can be that you're just eating junk food, you're eating trash that's not really serving your body. But a diet that's high in processed food is going to kill that testosterone. So this is a big one because in the States, especially in the States, you know, you have access to so much food, so much fast food. You have to be very careful with that. Like being down here in Mexico, we don't have that much access. You know, every now and then you, you, you can go buy some tacos or like a burrito, right? But if you don't go to those stands and you don't have to buy it, like when you're in the States, everywhere you drive to, you get... If you get hungry and you see a, a fast food spot, there's just so much temptation. So you have to be very careful with that processed food and reduces as, as much as possible. That will negatively affect your testosterone levels. Eating a diet that's balanced in rich nutrients, just eating whole foods, water, that will dramatically increase your testosterone levels. So that's a great starting point there. All right, so now that we identified why it's important, the traps to avoid, now let's focus on the good part how we can actually maximize it. So here are a couple strategies that will help you get that testosterone to peak levels. The first one is to exercise regularly. This is without a say, every man, every person needs to exercise as much as possible. That means lifting weights, getting your cardio in, doing whatever you like to do. It can be a sport, but exercising regularly will dramatically increase that testosterone because it, it, it all ties in together. If you're exercising, you're reducing that obesity, that body fat, you're getting more tired, so it allows you to sleep better at night. So, and then you just feel more confident because you're out there playing a sport, getting better at your sport, or exercising, getting stronger, getting bigger, and you just feel more confident. So exercising is a big one. And I think if a lot of people did this and just ate very uh, a healthy diet that's going to alleviate a lot of problems and it's going to avoid a lot of health issues as well the second one is to get quality sleep this one we can't avoid it so exercising is going to help you get tired it's going to make your body feel better but that sleep is going to allow you to recover and it's going to allow your brain to also recover that cognitive function so getting adequate amount of sleep will dramatically increase your testosterone levels as well there's a dumb quote that says that i'll sleep when i'm dead that's stupid, man. Like, you have to get your sleep. If you get your sleep, you're going to outperform people that do not get their sleep as well. You think better. You process decisions. You make better choices when you get good quality amount of sleep. The third one is to eat a healthy diet. So, it, like I said, it all ties in together. Exercise, healthy diet, sleep. A diet high in protein and healthy nutrients is going to dramatically help with that testosterone growth. Again, try to avoid that high processed food food or snacks that are high in sugar. This is going to help regulate your insulin levels and it's going to help you increase that testosterone production. Limit alcohol and drug use. This one's a big one for, for a lot of guys. Try to limit that alcohol use. This is probably one of, the, one of the ones that I've had issues with in the past, especially when I was in college because when I was in college, I would go out and have fun with my friends and we would drink all the time. And I think in my culture too, like I'm Mexican American. Drinking is like common in, in like family circles with friends. So that alcohol, man, it's not helping. It's not serving your body. It's not really helping the mission. I would say try to stick to two to three alcohol alcoholic drinks. If you do go out, maybe if you're out with a girl or you're having a good time going for some drinks, I think that's fine. If you stick to like two, three tops, two is probably a safer, like a safer spot there. And try to stick to clear alcohol so this would be tequila rum or vodka and try to avoid any dark liquor and also beer because it has a lot of estrogen like we talked about it has a lot of carbs those carbs convert into estrogen so try to stay away from too much beer the next way we can dramatically increase our testosterone is to take supplements so supplements are very important i have a whole stack of supplements that i take i take magnesium i take zinc biotin creatine, I take some whey protein, and I'm trying to think what else I take, and a multivitamin, oh, and also fish oil. So taking supplements can dramatically increase testosterone levels, especially like that zinc and that magnesium. That's very important for testosterone production. I would recommend to invest in some supplements, depending on what you need. You know, we're all different. You're not a doctor, but you can talk to a medical professional, a doc, your doctor, and they can probably recommend some supplements that are better tailored for you. 
But zinc and magnesium, that's just very important for production, for testosterone production. So that's just supplements that I recommend, supplements that I take. And also ensuring that you're getting a lot of vitamin D. And that would just be getting some sunlight, going out to the sun, walking for like 10 minutes. You know, those walks in the sunlight are very powerful. You feel rejuvenated and you get that vitamin D. Like right now I'm in Mexico. Here it's easy for me to just walk out, get some sun. There's always sun out here. But when, whenever I'm in the state, sometimes when I'm in like Texas, it rains a lot over there and it's always cloudy. So it can be more difficult to get that sunlight. And in places like Canada or places where it's always cloudy, it's it could be beneficial to invest in a vitamin D supplement. All right, so this, is, this one right here is a big one. And this is to avoid plastics and toxins that can affect your testosterone growth. And this can be like xenoestrogens and phthalates or chemicals that are found in plastics. I'm hope I'm I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Phthalates. If I'm not, put it down in the comments. But these chemicals, xenoestrogens and the phthalate chemicals, can dramatically negatively affect your testosterone levels. This one's a bit more insidious because we find plastic everywhere, and our Tupperware, and when you're buying a snack, when you're buying a yogurt whatever it is in your water, it's it's all in plastic. So this is something that you're gonna have to really be aware of. And what I would recommend is try to drink or eat out of glass containers. So it's either a glass bowl, drinking out of a glass cup as well, because it's gonna help you avoid those chemicals that could potentially affect you negatively with that hormone production in your testosterone. And the reason why is because these plastics negatively affect the hormone levels in our bodies. Whenever you're consuming things, whenever you're buying products like for your shampoo, conditioner, aftershave, try to make sure, read the label and try to avoid items that have these chemicals or have chemicals that you're not familiar with. Investigate those chemicals as well to ensure that they're not something that can negatively affect the testosterone levels. All right, and finally, but not least, you can also get TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. So this one's, I have never tried this one, but I have a lot of uh, guys that I follow, a lot of friends that have recommended for me to try it out at some point. And it's something that I, I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna try it out, but probably in my later 30s, when I get to like late 30s. And I'm still in my 20s, so, it's not something that I feel like I need right now, but I know that eventually it's going to, my testosterone levels are gonna decrease more. I'm probably gonna want to try it out at some point. But TRT, essentially all it is, testosterone replacement therapy. So uh, a medical professional can inject you with testosterone and it will increase your levels as well. And there's a lot of people that do it, even younger guys that do it. I, based off my research, I would recommend doing this in your late 30s. Maybe in your early 40s, but it's not something that I would recommend for younger guys. This is something that, you know, you are you just have very low levels of testosterone. You really need some, some, some dramatic help with increasing it. TRT could be your solution. All right, guys, so there you have it. These are just a couple of strategies and techniques that can help you increase that testosterone level. Testosterone is very important for a various amount of reasons. It will help you out in the gym. It will help you out with your confidence levels, reduce that anxiety, and it will also help you out with the ladies. So if you like these tips, make sure to give us a like. Let me know what you think. Which one of these is your favorite strategy? Which one do you like to do? Did we miss anything? If we did, put it down in the comments. Also, hit that subscribe button. Follow your boy on Instagram at Jonathan S. Medina. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay strong. Stay relentless and keep on conquering. Peace.